Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Lisa Chang and this is going to be my little sous chef for the day. What's your name? Xavier. Xavier. So Zave and I are going to be making a very healthy and delicious banana bread. It's going to be gluten free, dairy free, and even nut free to make it allergy friendly as well. Now one of the things that you're going to notice in this video is that we're going to be using one machine, the one that has the reputation for really replacing every other smaller kitchen appliance that you have in your kitchen and that's this bad boy right here, the Vitamix. You're going to notice how this is going to bring everything together really super quick and the cleanup is going to be that much easier. Hey Zane, where'd you go? start with the wet ingredients first. So first things first, we put the three ripe bananas into the Vitamix already. So they did a great job at peeling those bananas. Next we're going to add three quarters of a cup of dairy free milk and that could be any milk of your choice whether that's oat milk, rice milk, hemp milk. For today we're using almond milk. So Zave, can you go ahead and put the almond milk inside the Vitamix? It's really good. Nice job! We're also going to add in one egg, that's all we need for this recipe. You can also make either a flax or a chia egg. So in goes that. We're using three tablespoons of coconut oil. So if you want to help mommy put this in. Awesome. And we're also using one tablespoon of really good quality vanilla. So that goes in as well. Now once all those wet ingredients go in, you just put the lid on top and you give that a buzz. So that's what we're going to do now. Get together. Okay, so we just blended up all the wet ingredients in literally 10 seconds flat. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what about the sugar in this recipe? And here's my take on it. Because we're using ripe bananas, I don't feel like I need to put any added sugar into this recipe. So what I'm doing today is just for a little added sweetness, I'm putting in about a quarter cup of maple syrup. And maple syrup has a ton of nutritional benefits, plus it's yummy, so that's going in too. Okay, so what we've gone ahead and done for the purpose of this recipe today is pre-measure all of the dry ingredients. So you're using three kinds of gluten-free flour. We've got our almond flour, that's a cup and a quarter, plus we've got a cup and a quarter of whole rolled oats, and again, that's gluten-free. We've also got a cup and a quarter of one-to-one gluten-free flour in here, and I like using Bob's Red Mill. Now for our superfood ingredients, we've got about a quarter cup each of chia seeds, we've got hemp seeds in here, and we've also got about three tablespoons of flax seeds. So this is a superfood banana bread. And trust me guys, the kids won't even notice that it's in there. It's so super delicious. We've got cinnamon, we've got chocolate chips, we're ready to go into the Vitamix, so we're gonna go ahead and do that.
right guys, so we went ahead and blended all the dry ingredients along with some chocolate chips or baking powder, all that good stuff. It literally took no time to get it all done. So we've gone ahead too and greased a Curtis Stone uh, pan, which I'm gonna be using today. So that's my pan, and then Zabe has his mini loaf right here. What do you think, Zabe? Good. You can see all those chocolate chips in there, right? How many do you see? 20. 20? That's a lot of chocolate. Do you have any? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So we've got our banana bread baking in the oven. It's going to be baking on a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour or so. Just make sure that you're checking it consistently. Now it comes to the cleanup part, and this is the best part about a Vitamix. All you have to do is put some soap and hot water in there, put it on a setting of about 10, allow that to blast away for about 30 seconds, and this will be clean. It's also dishwasher safe as well. A couple of other TSC products that I really enjoy cleaning with is my Ultimate Cloth. Nothing cleans surfaces like this cloth, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up after my four-year-old. That's gonna be the biggest part of this cleanup. And I'm also using my Eco Egg cleaning solution as well for this. And here we have our finished banana bread. Now, of course, I was using a baking pan. If you're gonna make your banana bread, if you have a loaf pan at home, you definitely wanna use that but it smells incredible and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Here I have one of the smaller loaves that we made and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right into this because somebody can't wait to have a slice. So along with the slice, I'm also gonna add, oh! <laughs> I'm also gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of butter because who doesn't love banana bread and butter? What do you think, Zave? Here you go. Want to take a bite? Come on up. Have a bite. Oh, you have a bite. What do you think? Thumbs up? Yeah. Do I get two thumbs up? Can you show everybody? <laughs> and there you have it. Gluten-free, dairy-free banana bread that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Let me know what you think. <laughs>